All right, so let's talk really quickly about the teaching style of this lesson, of this course, and what I'm going to do is going to have a starting project, and that's going to be a restaurant project that we are going to be cleaning up. And this course is going to be a coding course. So I'm going to basically take this project here that you can see in it. Don't worry, you're gonna find the URL to it, and I'm gonna have all of this information written down in the project resources. So we are going to be taking this project and we are going to be cleaning it up. We are going to be refactoring it to make it more easier and much more easier to read and to understand. Now, what I recommend you to do is basically do the same things that I'm going to do. So I'm going to change some code in Android Studio and I really encourage you to go side by side with me and do the same things because this will allow you to understand much more better uh, what the process is and just memorize and understand. Basically do it with your own hands and that's the best. Now there's also the option of just observing the course and not really coding in the same time with me. And that's great as well, but again, I encourage you to also do it on your own. So if you don't do it in the same manner, in the same time with me, maybe you can do it afterwards, that's just fine. Now for this, we are going to have multiple lessons that we are going to be coding. So basically every lesson that's gonna have coding involved is going to have a solution here. Now, if you go here in the branches, switch branches tags option, you can see that we have a starting point called refactor code starter. And this is basically the starting point of our project. And this is what we are going to be working on. And in the first coding lesson, you are going to need this branch here. Don't worry because we're going to have a separate lesson on how to download this, how to import it. So don't really worry about that. Now, after each coding lesson, as you can see here, we have a solution branch that you can download and just make sure to look at the classes and make sure that you are on the same page. So if you are, if you decide that you want to code in the same time with me, and at some point you lag behind, you're just, you can't really do something and you want to see um, the project that I'm working on in that current state, you can basically just take each solution branch here and download it and see what's different in your code and why it's not maybe not working. Now, it also allows you that if you want to skip a coding lesson, Right? For example, we don't want to do the same things that you're doing, Caitlin, with short and split methods lesson, but maybe we decide at the ninth lesson, the simple logic solution here, that we want to basically code this one. So in order to be on the same page, you should download the previous solution lesson so you can have the up-to-date code. So this is really great because you can see here that for every coding lesson, I have a solution. So if you get stuck or if you want to start coding on the next lesson, Make sure that you get the latest and correct version. And this will allow you to compare your code. This will allow you to jump lessons if you don't really want to do them. And it will allow you to basically have the most up-to-date code corresponding to the lesson that you are going to be working on.